everybody. Today we are going to make a craft. It is um, for the Scranton Library Craft of the Month for May. Works really well for Mother's Day or just for whatever. We're going to take a mason jar and we are going to paint it and customize it so that you can take a photograph and have it be a picture frame. So this will be a custom photo, a custom color, and also a vase that you can have fresh flowers or artificial flowers in. Okay, so to get started, we have our supplies. We have some paint, or you might have a tube of paint you were given, your jar, and some contact paper. You're gonna need a paintbrush, I just got a paper plate that I can squeeze the paint out onto and I always have paper towel ready to mop up any mess. Um, and this is like a foam wedge that if you wanna use to paint, you can use that too. Now in the library, we have um, some stencils. These are different shapes that you can use or you can use anything else to trace to get the shape of what's going to be the picture frame that is going to frame your picture on your jar. So you can just do anything to cut an oval, trace, or you can measure and cut a rectangle, or you can come in and use these. They have nice little frames. Um, you can also come in and experiment with the Cricut machine. So to start, I'm just going to take this stencil. I want the oval shape. I'm going to put it on my contact paper and I'm going to just trace around and then I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Here's my oval. I'm going to cut this. All right, there's my oval. Move that stuff aside. This is going to um, help so that it's going to protect one spot of the jar that you don't want to paint on. It's going to leave it clear. The rest will be painted. And that will be like a window that you'll be able to put the picture in later and see the picture. So this is not actually the best jar. Um, I might try to do a follow-up video. Um, what works best is a jar that is completely flat and that's what you will be given. Um, when it has the 3D designs built in, it makes it really hard, a little harder for painting, but also to see the picture inside. It looks a little more distorted. But for right now, I have this one to work with until the other jars come in, have been ordered. I'm going to Peel this, it's like a, a clear sticker. I'm just gonna discard the back and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to press it on. Again, that's going to protect that area because that area is going to remain unpainted for your picture frame. Now you have gotten a tube of paint and if you don't like it, you can get your own paint if you have some at home. Um, acrylic, this is a big jar. You'll have a little tube included. You can just take your acrylic paint and put some on a paper plate or foam plate or bowl. If you have a palette, that works too. I'm gonna dab it and we're gonna start painting the outside of the jar. You can paint right over the clear sticker because that's what it's there for to keep it. And just make sure to keep all of your strokes going the same direction. You don't want to be every which way. Um, and there's a possibility, most likely, you're going to need two coats. Maybe even more, depending how thick you want it. If you do one coat or even two thin coats, it might be a little bit opaque. If you want it to be really thick, where you can't see through the jar at all, then you will need several coats. And if you want it to be thick, but you don't feel like dealing with as many coats, 
you can actually make your own chalk paint. Chalk paint is a little thicker and a little cloudier, like a matte finish, not glossy. The way that you make chalk paint is you can mix some baking soda in with your acrylic paint and just stir it. It'll make it um, a thicker consistency, like um, almost like a paste. So as you can see, while I've been talking, I went around the jar. This is my first coat and it's pretty thin coat. You can really see through the jar. It's not very thick. And like I said, I painted it right on top of my contact paper sticker. We'll peel that off later. Don't forget to do the top of the jar too, the rim. So now I'm going to go and do another, another coat on top. And after the second coat, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to have a look at it. And if I want it to be a little darker, a little thicker, not as see-through, then I'll do one or two more coats of the same color paints once it has dried. Just be careful not to get paint under that. I think I might have a little bit there. So here we go, painting all the way around. And now I'm going to go and do the top part, the rim where I was holding it. So I'm going to have to just do a little more carefully over here because I can't hold it. I'm going to dab it. And you can use a sponge too if you want, if that's easier. This is like a sponge paintbrush. Works really well. I'm almost done doing this rim. I'm just going to touch up. There are a couple spots that look a little thicker. The plot place where you want it to look the nicest, what is going to be your front, is going to be where that piece of contact paper sticker is. Now, once you're happy with it, you can remove this contact paper. See, so it kept it that part clear. It's easier to remove it while the paint is wet. If you let the paint harden and then you remove it, it could peel off some of the dried paint with it. And now since it's wet, you can look and see if there's any little bit that um, it kind of seeped in a little too much there. So I'm just going to take, you could take a Q-tip a even and, and just dab this just to have that nice crisp edge. There was a little excess paint that got in there where I didn't want it. So that would be like your um, clear window and later when it dries, where you would put the, the photo on the inside of the jar and it would shine through there. Um, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I'm going to um, let this dry but like I said, what you would do then later is you would take your photo, fit it down in, in the center, in the inside of it, and glue that or tape it in. Um, you don't want to get the photo ruined, so you're not going to be, obviously be able to fill the vase with water and flowers. You could put artificial flowers in, or you could take a smaller glass or plastic jar and just sit that inside and fill that with water and have the smaller one have the flowers. Um, so pretty much there you have it. I'm gonna let this dry and I might add some more, um, but that is it in a nutshell. And 
I hope you gift it to somebody who will enjoy it. You can make it for yourself. You can put a picture of grandkids or kids in and give it to a mom or a grandma. It'd be a great gift for Mother's Day. Um, and since the photo is on the inside, you can change it out and put a different photo in every now and then. Um, so that's pretty much it. And if you have any other questions, you can refer to the instruction sheets that will come in with your craft projects. You can always come into the Creative Loft here at the Scranton Library. Any Tuesday night of this month, from 4 to 8, I will be here and I can help people make this lovely craft. All right, thanks for watching.